the best part of my job is being able to use chemistry and sophisticated instrumentation to delve into the mysteries of, of the explosive articles that we're, we're looking at. Each of these tubes contains a fireworks effect, either a color or a, or a sound. The rolled paper tube acts like a mortar, giving a direction to the the effect as it's projected out of the tube. Inside this tube there is a burst charge and the color effect stars. Right here we have the stars. Inside we have an additional pyrotechnic composition. I'm Richard Bowes, I'm Head of Certification at the Canadian Explosives Research Laboratory. My name is Dave Arsenault and I work with Richard testing fireworks. The source of the radiation is up here and it will shoot the x-rays down through the tubes. This one will produce white stars, this one will produce red stars, white stars, red stars, and the last one will produce red and white stars. And after this is done, it will go back to the chemistry lab for further analysis. So this instrument is a scanning electron microscope. It allows us to look more closely at uh, fireworks components. The one that we're going to look at right now is actually some aluminum powder. So we have all of the different aluminum particles here that we've looked at under the microscope and we're able to measure the different uh, diameters. You know, while they look really pretty in the sky, there's a, a lot of uh, work that goes into making sure that they are a safe fun activity for Canadians. Mm -hmm. 